Well, hey there, everybody. Long-time viewers, I'm sure this is a day that you thought maybe would never come, and welcome to new viewers as well. This is episode one of Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I sort of, for a while, never thought I would hear those words coming out of my mouth, but here we are, three hours, three hours, three years after the release of the original uh, that so many people, including myself, have spent so much time with. Rebirth is finally out, or about to come out, I'm not totally sure when this episode is going to go live yet, but it should be around the time of release. Let's get started on save file 1. Now, uh, I'm continue as I just tested all the settings. Don't worry, I'm not spoiling anything for you guys. I want to take a look here. Um, I, I have an embarrassing admission. Of course, we only have uh, Isaac unlocked here. I'm super excited, even if my muted tone of voice doesn't necessarily uh, convey that accurately. Before we go into this item room, I want to say two things. The first one is thank you for supporting my Isaac series for so, so long. It is a dream come true to have played that game as much as we have, and I'm sure that I will end up playing it for reasons other than just nostalgia, but nostalgia as well, uh, over the course of my life. But also, I've had Rebirth for kind of a longish time. And I, I don't know if I'm necessarily surprising people for saying that, but... I haven't really played very much of it. I've had it for a, you know a, a few weeks at least, uh, but I only did like one or two runs just to kind of see what it's about because I wanted to experience everything new and not have to try to like manufacture my reactions. So despite having the game for a long time, I really don't have any more familiarity with it than many of you. And in fact, if you followed the Monday, up of course that's going to be our first item, lemon mishap. If you follow the Monday updates, ooh, religiously, pun intended then you uh, might even know more than me, but I'm looking forward to experiencing the game together. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. First thing I'm noticing right away, uh, first off, game looks awesome, runs at a fantastic speed, but also, Lemon Mishap only has a two-room charge here, which is sweet. This is a new kind of enemy. That doesn't make Lemon Mishap necessarily good, as far as I can tell yet, but it also uh, certainly makes it a lot better than it maybe used to be. In any case, we'll kill um, little poop monsters there. We're picking up a lot of money thus far. Those things seem to move really, really fast. In fact, the game seems to be moving a little bit faster than Vanilla Isaac does. Uh, at, oh, this is a little bit of a larger room uh, coming up next. But the game seems to be moving a little bit faster than uh, Vanilla Isaac does right off the bat. Is that a battery, like, trinket over there in those rocks? Oh, the scroll effect is freaking me out a little bit. I wonder if those are... And again, remember, I didn't actually read all of the um, all of the Monday updates because I'm uh, an asshole, I guess. But I wonder if those are consumables that give you more charges for your uh, for whatever item you actually have. Now, what's up with this bomb rock here? I wonder if you put a bomb there, it kind of explodes in a wider arc or something like that. So I'll tell you what, let's let's learn something about the game here. We'll put that down. I'm not going to pick up that battery yet. I'm going to use Lemon Mishap on the boss first. It's going to be Dingle. One of the new bosses. Come on, Dingle. We still have not yet... Oh, Gertie Jr. attacks! We still have not yet had our first bit of damage from the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and wouldn't it be sweet if we could keep it that way as long as it's humanly possible? Oh, man, those shots look flippin' sweet. All right, well, I have taken now two hits of damage. Congrats, Dingle. You get the honor. We're about halfway through the fight here. Spawning some little poop McGee's over there. The whistle effect is, is very, very cute. Seriously, dude, just F off. I don't know how to feel about this boss thus far. Any boss that has these kind of Gertie Jr. mechanics, no thank you, sir. Give me just uh, your classic, you know, Famine, Monstro, Larry Jr. type stuff instead. Although I know that uh, some of the bosses have also been rebalanced. Oh. I don't like being kind of hemmed into this situation right here. Just kill him and we're alright. We even got a Spirit Heart. We can unlock uh, one character, I think... I'm not sure which one, but we can unlock a character by getting uh, four spirit hearts, so I can try to do that. So this is Speedball, I think. Oh, Synthol. Damage plus range up, or Synth Oil. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be Synthol, but it is in his arm. Makes me think it's, synth it's supposed to be Synthol. Oh, okay, that is exactly what that battery pickup does. That is cool. So we've learned something new, seen a new item. Kind of a boring item, but a damage plus range up could be very useful as well. Now, it is worth noting, uh, we're still super early here, so we might only... I, I basically, what I'm trying to get at, I don't know where the game ends, man. This is back to, to day one uh, Isaac for me. Lemon Mishap does not hit flying items. Fair enough. Um, this is back to day one of, like, vanilla Isaac for me. So I, uh, 
I don't necessarily know if we're just gonna fight mom and then win so this might end up being a bit of a shorter episode but I'm planning on doing multiple runs for the first couple of days and streaming uh, the, the crap out of this game as we uh, are around the time of release so what does this item look like to me I can't break those pots I kind of looks like a, a joystick maybe or like a, a stamp mom's eyeshadow charm tears okay Dig in the kind of graphical effect. Okay, so some of our cheers have, or some of our tears have like this purple effect on. Oh man, there's like sweet debris effects or particle effects coming out of that poop. That's cool. Um, some of our tears are a different color. I wonder if that kind of turns enemies over to our side. That is what I expect. Charm tears. Yeah. Okay, that is super cool. That sounds like an item that uh, I am gonna be a big fan of. I'm happy to have it here. All right, yeah. Does it actually? It does damage other enemies. Oh man, you can like convert enemies into meat boys on the fly. There goes my spirit heart. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be getting any deals with the devil going on early on here. I'm digging like the the thick kind of outline on these guys. What the heck? That's betrayal. I charmed you, and yet you can still hit me. I guess maybe that helps it not be super overpowered. Before we fight the boss here, I'm just gonna try to. Uh, Maybe get another spirit heart just in case we have a chance it deals with the devil or something. I don't know, man. I'm just going to explore a little bit. It's not like we have the D6 to worry about or anything like that. All right, relatively easy enemies here. I'm not sure if that is a... I've got to relearn, like, the room icons and stuff. That looks like a boss trap room to me, and it doesn't open up despite me having full health. So, that trick still works. Uh, so I am assuming that that is going to be a boss trap room. So we're not going to be able to access that unless we hurt ourselves or there's an arcade here. I'm really digging Charm Tears, though. That is super awesome. Um, why don't we look for a secret room? Might give us enough money to make our shop worthwhile if it is here. Okie dokie. We got some pills. This is a weird looking secret room here. Well, we'll maybe take two of the pills. Okay, here's the first one. Speed up. I can live with that. Second one looks like uh, cherry pie. Health up. That's awesome. Third one. We'll wait to take it until we fight the boss, I guess. Relatively pleased with how this is going so far, haven't died. Gurglings? Oh, of course, they've got the Gertie Jr. mechanic as well. Fantastic. Oh, they also create some creep underneath them. That's good. Lemon Mishap seems to last a lot longer now. One of the Gurglings already dead. Okay, this... I think the one that we hit was the one that, um... The one that we killed is the one that got a lot of damage from Lemon Mishap. I kind of wish that with uh, the Charm Tears, the enemies moved in the other direction, but this is fine too. Hey, Monstro's Tooth has appeared in the basement. We did get a deal with the Devil, and we got Jesus Juice. Not a new item, but a good item nonetheless. Damage plus range, and it probably actually does give you range here, and our tears are larger. Okay, um... So, I think... Well, let's open the Red Chest. I've never seen that on a deal with the Devil before. So, that's, uh, like, Mulligan Flies. I'm assuming that one on the right is Demon Baby, but I'm gonna pick up this one. I hope it's not Ouija board. My guess is that by the look of it, it would be the Pact. Contract from below. Wealth, but at what cost? Okay, the first mystery of, uh, of Isaac awaits us here. People might be a little mad about this. I'm, I'm playing it like very casually <clears throat> here while I try to kind of get my bearings. I don't think I'm going to hurt myself to fight in the boss trap room. I think it's just a little bit too risky for me to be interested in. So I, I guess we'll just head down to the next floor, even though there is some HP there. I'm pleased with the way this is going thus far, though. Vignettes uh, seem pretty much exactly the same so far. I don't want to skip them because this is... What you're basically seeing is like my, my first time through the game here. I did play a little bit at PAX as well, but... Alright, new enemies. Caves part 1. Oh, I do not like that uh, attack at all. That is going to be very difficult for me to... You know, my brain to figure out how to actually dodge it there. This track is a little bit of like a Hotland Miami vibe going on, I think. I like it. Alright, big room. This room scares me a little bit. Okay, we got the bonies over here. I took a little bit of damage. I can't believe I actually earned that deal with the devil on the last floor. This is an interesting room layout. I guess if we could fly, we could get uh, access to if there was a consumable there. There's also water kind of leaching down from the side. That's a cool effect. All right, I'm going to put those down, see if maybe they take damage from walking into it. I am I'm amazed that Lemon Mishap was just our first item that showed up. What a, you know, what, a, what am I trying to say here? Like, um... It's like Tobias Funke, I appear to have shot my wad on what was supposed to be a bit of a dry run, right? Oh, so he farts. I wonder if that's like a really close, uh, like melee type 
uh, version of like green bombs. So we want to stay away from that. I don't know if it just pushes us away or if, oh, why use it against flying enemies? Or if it actually like gives us a, uh, a chance to take like some explosive or even poison damage or something. Anyway, this is a classic room handled properly. We're getting a ton of key drops. So my guess is that maybe that has something to do with contract from below. Maybe it doubles the amount of consumables that we pick up. So Charm Tears, I mean, it's it's seeming pretty good so far. Uh, let's kill this guy. That is not nice. Um, Charm Tears are seeming uh, pretty good, but also it doesn't stop us from taking damage at the enemy's uh, behest, basically. Okay, we no bombs, so we'll use a key here. That looks like maybe like a lump of sugar or something to me. Uh, maybe an eraser? I don't know. Let's check it out. Unicorn Stump. You feel stumped. So it's not a unicorn horn. It's a unicorn stump. And it only takes one room to charge. So it gets a charge on every, uh, on every room. Where did I lose HP? Because I had an HP upgrade before. Oh, I took that deal with the devil. Okay, so it's not just some mechanic happening that I was not aware of. So I could go fight the boss, but I kind of want to figure out what Unicorn Stump does first. I could go to that curse room. I kind of want some HP to be around on the ground first. Uh, okay, lots of kind of nothing really going down here. Rainbow Poop, that's new. Uh, let's break this open, and then we'll break open the Rainbow Poop. I have no idea what that did, but it played a nice little flourish. And uh, maybe we'll get enough money from this poop to actually access the secret room. Okay, this seems like a safe place. Let's try to use our unicorn stump. Like a really, really brief period of invincibility or something? Yeah, okay. That's actually a cool kind of balance uh, of unicorn horn, I think. I know, I'm assuming unicorn horn is still in the game as well, but uh, being able to use like a little bit of invincibility, kind of like the bean, that would be so useful for things like blood banks. So we have a mob tramp room over here, 8 cents. We really did not get as much money here as I was hoping for. Do we know this? We don't know this pill. So let's take one of these pills. Come on, be good. 48 hour energy. So that dropped a battery for us, which actually seems like not very useful at all. With six keys, I'm going to open these. Why does the battery... Why am I saying the battery is not very useful? Oh, you know what? Unicorn stump, it doesn't actually do damage. It just gives us the invincibility. So I could really see that being useful for, for blood banks. It also prevents us from even shooting when we have it active. So I could see that being super useful for things like blood banks. Or just rooms where, I don't know, enemies are likely to hit you. You can use it as like a free like damage absorber if you want. Uh, we have a tarot card there. We picked up a little bit more money. I still, I, I know people are going to be mad that I'm not going to the shop to see all the new stuff that's going on. But you, you know my strategy. Only go to the shop when you got the, the money in all likelihood to be able to capitalize, but I guess with five keys, we could get something that's on sale, or at least give some money to the donation uh, thing. Okay. Charm Tears is a super cool item idea. Yeah, it actually does target at other uh, enemies as well. I mean, I probably could have noticed that earlier. But hey, there we go. We got our charge back. Judgment. Okay, Judgment's real good. Let's take this pill. Bombs are key. Ooh, I don't like that so much. But we can find our secret room, maybe with that, and then go to our shop. I wonder how secret room locations are going to work with these big rooms. Like, my hunch would be that the secret room could be here. Okay, that totally worked. And we got enough money in there to actually make our shop worthwhile. That's exciting. I'm excited. Let's back out of here. I am noticing, by the way, the game's a little dark on the camera here. Just give me a moment. I'm going to right-click... Crank up the brightness just like two. Oh, that's way too much. Let's give that like a three. Nah, maybe even a two. Yeah, that seems like what I'm looking at right here. And maybe, I apologize for this by the way, but we'll crank up the contrast. Like a five. Oh, that's like a negative five. Oh, that, that's bringing the colors out nicely here. Okay, that looks beautiful. This is why I like uh, recording in the same program I use to actually stream because you can do this stuff on the fly. So we have 20 cents now. Let's make our way down to uh, what I assume is the shop here. We've got a 15 cent boss key. I'm assuming that is a boss key. It looks like a boss key from Zelda. Let's pick it up. Mom's key. Less is now more plus two keys. Less is now more plus two keys. That is cryptic. We got two keys for buying it. So we can use that in the future. You know, we... If we really need keys, we could overpay for two of them. Um, 
Weird, though. All right, I'm not going to give our other money to Peep, by the way. Or not to Peep, to the donation machine. Oh, that's a sweet kind of like, you know, earthquake effect when it lands. That is really neat. This is why I didn't want to play too much of, uh, of Rebirth. And it's, you, if you think your weight was excruciating, and believe me, I, I don't disagree with you. The weight for Rebirth has been excruciating just because the game is, you know, so anticipated for people who have played so much Isaac. But um, having the game in my Steam library and being like, I could play it, but I really, really shouldn't. It's like having your Christmas present, you know, like right under your tree or something like that. Um, and I know that people are going to be like, oh, that's like a serious first world problem. It's like, oh, I got access to this game way in advance. But I'm just trying to say, don't be mad, because I... I did sacrifice a little bit of my own mental health and, and well-being uh, just to make sure that I would be able to give you guys like the same kind of appropriate kind of like sense of discovery like I didn't I didn't want to be the guy and there's nothing wrong with being this guy by the way but I didn't want to be the guy because it's not who I am who comes in and says like okay I played a bunch of rebirth and I'm gonna tell you everything to know about the game I'd rather be the guy that discovers it along with you so we killed the boss we did not get a deal with the devil is that cat of nine tails you know what I'm gonna take it Cat of Nine Tails. Oh, it's a damage upgrade now, too. And the shot speed doesn't affect Lump of Coal anymore, so this is a good thing. Plus, it's a damage upgrade. No HP upgrades in this run so far, though, so we'll uh, we'll head down to the next floor. I'm going to try to use Judgment on the deal with the Devil. Ah, oh, I skipped a vignette. I'm sorry. Old habits die hard. So I'm going to save this Judgment card. That's a boss trap room. Uh, we could use two keys there, but that seems a little risky. Um... You know what? I I never thought I'd say this. I actually would prefer Lemon Mishap, I think. If we're not going to get uh, Blood Banks anyway, or Arcades. If we are going to get Arcades, this could be really useful. See, I... That's got to be something to deal with, like, Contract from Below, right? The fact that we're getting two key drops every time a key drops? I don't know if that's worth one heart. It probably is. Is that Bum Friend, really? That's alright, he's greedy. I'll pick him up just to see how he works. Maybe he won't kick my bombs around now? This is a huge room right here. Like a really, really, really big room. Uh, that's our shop. No enemies on this. Oh, there are enemies. What the heck? These guys started in the abyss, so I couldn't really see them. Oh, man. That was a little horrifying. I like the new... Oh, geez. Stay away. I like the new model on that guy as well. That's cool. It's a little bit more dynamic. This is like every room we finish, we get two keys. I'm going to go back and try to get that golden chest. I am pleased with the way this run is going so far, I gotta say. I just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hesitant about getting too cocky about things right now. There we go. Uh, we got a lot of HP. No, bum friend. This is my money. I need to use this for judgment, maybe. We got a lot of HP. Which is great. Oh, man. F those turrets. I should probably stop shooting at enemies after I charm them, huh? Oh, I tried to use that to get out of taking some damage. Stop it! You, you guys are being real jerks about things. Okay, lots of red hearts. Maybe it just gives us two of every consumable. That's what I'm thinking about contract from below. Oh, man! Okay, this is sweet. We do have a blood bank now, so money is not going to be an object at all. Pop up, buddy. Pop up, buddy. It's not like Vanilla Isaac where uh, for like 10 episodes I couldn't figure out how to kill those turrets because I'm a big idiot. So this is a demon judgment. Are they judgments though? Or are they just um... There's two blood banks too, wow. Are they demon judgments or are they um, like donation kind of machines? I know that sounds similar, but do they unlock items for us in the overall game or do they give us items right now? I feel like it's smarter for us to play this demon judgment like crazy while we have this invincibility from Unicorn Stump. And we should get a lot of invincibility. Oh, you know what? Time for, uh, you know, next era lion strats here. Justice. Yeah, we'll take it. Um, not next era. This is like old era lion strats. Um, play this demon judge. He gave us Gimpy. Sweet suffering. This is the sweetest, like, mask I've seen in Isaac. Like, the sweetest uh, character transformation. Great sound on those blood banks, too. Oh, that sounds, like, archaic. I like it. Anyway, we're going to do this, and then we're going to come back and fight in our boss trap room, because it should be available to us now if the rules still apply. And it looks like they do. There's so much HP for us. Man, this boss trap room looks kind of terrible. Um, I wanted to go through with it anyway. 
Wow, bum friend just dropped like a ton of stuff for us. I, I really appreciate those red hearts. Also, there looks like there's a trinket. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it's a trinket, but I'm assuming it's a trinket. I have no idea. Purple heart, um, you know, in the like US military, it's used to signify that you were wounded in a conflict. I wonder if maybe it gives you a reward for taking damage. By the way, I also have no idea what, what Gimpy does for us here. Chubb seems to have a lot more HP. Or, the damage upgrades we've gotten thus far have been not so good. Neither one of those would really surprise me. Bombs maybe do more damage now, I'm not sure. I, I'm trying not to draw too many conclusions here. Um, from like my first time playing the game, you know? So again, money shouldn't be very much of an issue for us here. We, we can just play the Blood Bank and get to the shop. And I'm interested to see what kind of new items they have in the shop. My, my uh... I'm going to try to win these runs, of course, and I'm going to try to unlock new characters and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm also uh, mostly just trying to discover all the stuff that happens in the game. You know, there's going to be plenty of time, maybe years and years, to, to play Rebirth for winning. Right now, I want to I wanna learn. I want to have that sense of discovery that I've yearned for so much. But really, I... Oh, that was bad damage, but we took damage. Does Gimpy maybe give you a chance to get a Spirit Heart when you get hit? That seems crazy useful, combined with a Unicorn Stump for something like a, a Blood Bank. Oh my god, this seems incredible. Is that really what it is? We got some money back here too. So this is Purple Heart Challenge Up. Okay. Now it's getting interesting. Well, maybe we can get to four spirit hearts this way. This is one of the ways to unlock one of the characters. The, the character I've forgotten now. Um, again, we can go pretty hard on this because we have uh, lots of HP available for us in the wild right now. We'll go this slow, and then we'll um, use our Unicorn Stump. Gives us a brief period of invincibility. We can give this money to Bum Friend, too, I guess we want. Now, that is uh, it's a Chariot. That's also invincibility. This is IV Bag. IV Bag sucks pretty hard, but we can use it to farm stuff from... from uh, Demon Baby... or not Demon Baby, Bum Friend, if we wanted to. Um, I'm also gonna... Use the chariot card here to play this one. Oh man, no, 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 that's mine. <laughs> Don't take all my money, bum friend. You can take some of it. Uh, this is going really well so far. I, I really did not expect my first episode here to be me farming these blood banks, but we found ourselves in a situation where, you know, we got a pretty good setup for it, so why not, right? Let's, uh, let's come back here, get some of our HP. I can't believe we've had so much available for us. And I would love to snag some HP, so I'm gonna keep gambling on this guy for now. And I know, oh, there's our spirit heart. It looks like it will indeed be possible. Is that a 48-hour energy? Well, we'll use it. Again, it gave us two of that consumable. Uh, so we'll use our invincibility now. Are you proud of me, Papa? I don't need more than 32 cents probably at this point, so I'll let Bum Friend give me some more consumables maybe. Speed up, I'll take it. We'll pick up this one, and then we'll come back to this. If you're wondering, if you're like really new to the Binding of Isaac and wondering what's up, don't worry about it too much, you'll pick it up real quick. That's, that looks like Pinky, oh, that was bad damage on my part. Is that another IV bag? Oh, come on. What you? What are you doing, Ed? What are you doing here? Uh, I want... I prefer Unicorn Stump to that. Uh, pinky Eye. Poison Shots. I like the idea of having Purple Heart because it's new. Oh, wow. That's amazing. We just got an HP upgrade from uh, that uh, Judgment, which... And the only reason I played that Judgment was by accident. We're not quite at four Spirit Arts, but we're getting pretty close. That's why I'm not going to the Curse Room just yet. Alright, this has been an interesting floor so far. Let's keep it up here. It's been a while since I actually fought enemies. These guys explode when they die? No? It's just the bombs. Fair enough. They're the same enemies. Uh, from... From Rebirth. Or, sorry, from Vanilla. Portable slot. So, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna buy a portable slot. I didn't mean to donate there. But I will, uh... I'll buy a Spirit Heart. That should take us to the point where we unlock a character, right? No, we only have three and a half. Okay. Maybe we'll play the IV bag a little bit, because that seemed to, uh, like, one every ten times, it seemed to give us, like, a spirit heart. So I might give that a try. I want to save some money so that we actually can, uh, can play this judgment if we get a deal with the devil. Or play this judgment whenever, basically. There's our spirit heart. Yeah, we unlocked Lazarus. Okay, so there's our new character. Don't take those nickels from me, man. Those are mine. So I think we just play the crap out of the... We don't get the extra invincibility anymore. We play the crap out of this and hope that he gives us stuff like he's giving us right now, like those HP upgrades. Um, because we also are farming spirit hearts as a result of this. It seems silly, like, not to take him up on it. Alright, so we got more spirit hearts there. 
Strength. We'll use that just so we can get another couple plays here. And that did give us a, uh, a Spirit Heart. But I can't pick it up. So there, we're finally running into that element of Rebirth. Um, where you can't have Spirit Hearts that stretch kind of off the screen. Oh, but we can go back in and pick it up now. That was the Strength card. Got it. Okay, I'm, I'm extremely pleased with the way this is going right now. We're going to go back and get some more HP, and then we're going to, I guess, try to fight our boss. I didn't expect to take as long as we did on this floor, but I'm having a good time. I'm having a good time. Now, I think we might be a little overpowered. Are you going to call it a one run just yet? I got to say, I would love to beat Mom on my first uh, run in Rebirth. That would feel pretty satisfying. And you know what? If we, uh... well, no, this isn't the last floor with a shop, so... Ooh, I don't like those enemies very much. I, I pressed Q on my keyboard and used Judgment by accident. What a jerk. Um, so we'll play this Judgment. I'm an idiot. It happens, though. Not everything could be perfect. Two bombs. Okay. Um, what I was going to say is we'll, on our next floor, if we don't... Oh, that's more HP. Which we can't actually... We can take, but maybe it cost us a Spirit Heart to take it, if you know what I mean. Um, feeling kind of hemmed in here. I'm going to try to make some moves. Oh, this is a huge room. That scrolling effect is really, really smooth. So these guys seem like a pain in the ass. Hopefully they don't have very much HP. Pop up, you jerk. What the heck, man? This is a tough room. Okay, just, just pop up like a turret would. Thank you. I think we're going to have to take this room very, very slowly. Okay, we got one dead. Thankfully. That one did get hit. Shouldn't have dodged in there. This is without a doubt the toughest room we've seen thus far. Okay, just cool it. Come on down. Come on down. Don't get that cl Oh my god, just pop up. I can already- you're my new nominee for most hated enemy. These guys are gonna keep shooting, unlike they would in vanilla. Okay, those guys are gonna explode when they die. Um, good. Yeah, stay away. I don't care. Oh no! Wow, that was uh, out of nowhere with the spider. Holy crap, it jumped across like the whole room too. I'm getting a little nervous about our HP, but we're, you know, substantially better off than we were a little while ago. I should have used my invincibility on that last room, by the way. At some point, at least. Yeah, I'm gonna use it right here just to put ourselves in a more preferable situation. Little Q-bones and Marowax. It actually seems like kind of easier to dodge those triple shots. It might just be because I have a lot of speed, but compared to vanilla, it just feels like kind of smoother in that regard. These guys are gonna shoot, so we're not out of the clear yet. Or we're not in the clear yet, I should say. We'll exit into this room, and... Oh, uh, these are the turrets. Real freaking annoying. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna fight our boss. We're only one floor away from Mom. Do we know these pills? Paralysis? That seems like you would never want that. That made it impossible for me to move for a second, I think. Goity! Gertie is... Oh, that's bad damage. But Gertie's not really that big of a deal. For the most part, we can do some serious stuff to Gertie. And I think we may very well earn a deal with the devil, and I would love to pick up some new deal with the devil items to kind of explore what we got going on in Reboith. Now, I wonder if Gertie, uh, well charmed, will shoot at its own minions and, and actually deal damage to them. Of course, the one charm shot that I got went to that fly and, and killed it instantly. I, I'm digging the charm shots, I gotta say, because I thought at first, like, oh, this is gonna be super overpowered. It seems really powerful. But it's not like when you charm a boss, it just like, you know, immolates itself or something like that. Little Chubby has appeared in the basement. Okay. What is this item? It looks like some kind of weird pill or like a... I don't even know. Caffeine pill. Speed up and size down. Interesting. Where did this health up pill come from? I unlocked Maggie. And the, you unlock challenge 5, the tank. And you unlock challenge 10, cursed. Oh, dude, I wonder if cursed makes it so that every room you go into is a cursed room. So it hurts you on the way in and out? That would be terrifying. I know. I know. People are going to want me to try to become Guppy in uh, in Rebirth. I can't. I really can't do it. Taking nine lives is so likely to get me killed. But I'll tell you what. We'll compromise a little bit. I'll take uh, I'll take Guppy's head. Because I think it's actually better than the item we have. And we'll, we'll head down to the next floor. 
And I'll be ready to use Guppy's head. Ooh, why does this floor have like a weird sewer grate on it? That scares me a little bit. I'll be able to use Guppy's head to help me deal a lot of damage. Alright, Depths Part 1. Going real well so far. Blue Fire? That scares me a little bit. Blue Fire is apparently uh, indestructible. Good to know. We got some brain dudes. Little annoying. Guppy's head is recharged. I should have gone to curse rooms, by the way. That's stupid of me to, to not go to the curse rooms. I should go to... Oh, that's a, that's a gap. Yeah, don't come through here. That's That wasn't very smart of me. I still don't know, like, what Purple Heart does. But we'll use it at some point. I will open all these for sure. So that's a Spirit Heart. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I have eight keys. Well, actually, I have more now, so I'll open the... Uh, I'll open the golden chest as well. I really think that if, if this was vanilla, Isaac, I would be calling this one as at least a mom win. And if that's as far as we end up going, well, hey, we'll discover the rest of the game together. New zombies. Well, I mean, they look pretty similar, don't they? But The charm shots seem to be real good against these zombies. Sorry, I just had to take a second to, to scratch my face. The charm shots seem really good against these zombies because they keep walking. I guess they always keep walking in whatever direction they are when you hit them for the first time, but... You know, I'm, I'm struggling to compliment charm shots more than I already have. Uh, sure. I let bum friend take a little, but I took probably more of that money than I needed to. At this point, I don't really need money. 34 cents, we can give a lot to donation machines and still come out of this okay. So I'm really worried that these skulls are gonna pop out of the ground and just like, um, you know, shoot me or something like that, but I think they're just there for decoration. I like these guys. I'm picking up what they're putting down. Oh, so when they fart, it actually they actually have a shot. So earlier I was like, do these guys just fart and maybe deal poison damage? I think the answer to that question is no. I believe they actually shoot, but the fart is just designed to keep you away and, and mess with you a little bit. Really a uh, satisfying kind of like sound effect on that. I don't. I never want to know how you folded that. I, I never want to know what you recorded yourself doing. And that's okay. We can we can be together as a result, or we can stay together as a result of that. Ignorance. Willfully. Those enemies are annoying. They have three phases. I walked over the creep because I'm a... I'm, this is the first time I've ever played the, the Binding of Isaac. What is this video game anyway? Could play the slot machine. That's not my style, though. Also my style. Or also not my style. Those leapers. Luckily, we didn't see them leaping. Because if we did, they'd be real annoying. Like, okay, I'm assuming these are just rocks, so we would blow those up and get a bomb, or with a bomb. They give us black hearts. Okay, very interesting. So, I actually do know this. I believe that what black hearts do, by the way, it's, oh, I hate this room. These enemies are like uh, tractor beams that kind of suck you in. Uh, what black hearts do is it's kind of like having a weird little passive Necronomicon. When you lose the black heart, I believe, you know what, bum friend, go ahead. When you lose the black hearts, I believe they deal uh, damage. Whoa! Okay. Interesting. Uh, I believe they deal damage to all enemies in the room. That are still alive, at least. Alright, we're definitely going to see some leap in here. It's okay. All but one is dead. Now they're all dead. Let's get Guppy's uh, head going here and see if we can get another deal with the devil. It's the Wretched. Okay, normally the Wretched is like a... Well, it might be a depths level boss. But uh, normally you don't fight two at the same time. This is an example of a large boss room. A uh, much longer boss room, which is actually good when you're fighting a boss that can normally like track you down. And, you know, if you have mobility issues, it can be an issue. But um, yeah, we're, we're fighting two wretcheds here. I'm not sure why I can't hit it. Maybe the skull was blocking the shots and I couldn't see. That's a bit of a dangerous boss, but... Uh, you know, I think we're up to the task here. I, I really think that we've gotten some decently powerful items and played well enough. Had some synergy, which is what I was hoping for, of course. Um, and uh, managed to get a lot of HP. Let's see if we get a deal with the devil here. I don't know where the item's going to show up. There it is. We did get a deal with the devil. What the heck is that item? Magic scab, HP plus luck up. Oh, that's a appetizing kind of visual effect there. We have the pact, which is almost always a no-brainer pickup. You unlocked a zale. So I believe that's um, a zazzle. Sorry, a zazel. I'll learn how to pronounce it in time. Um, so the pact is uh, damage, tears, and uh, spirit hearts, but it costs you 2 HP. What do you think this hood is? I'm going to pick up this hood. I'm going to use this first, just in case we lose it. Sin up ceremonial robes. Okay. Makes us look pretty cool. And I'll take this too. What is this? Little brimstone. Oh, snap. 
That is awesome. Okay, we have some stuff left to explore here. I am actually so happy with this run right now. So we actually... That was so dumb of me. I'm so fast right now, though. It's kind of hard to control. Um, we're shooting so darn quickly. But I this is a new kind of familiar. I actually have to control when it shoots as if, like, I have brimstone. So I have to, like, release the button to fire it. That's really cool. But, oh, my God. We are tearing these people up right now. Uh, PhD! Great item. Kind of boring. But uh, we already had great pills. Wait, we had just one drop right there. 48-hour energy? Sure. I mean... It's not that useful. I wonder if there's a limit to the flies you can have on the screen. This is a good thing to test here. No, we can take all the flies with us. That's cool. All right. Um, this is still not our last floor. They can have a shop. Now that we have PhD, we will buy uh, that pill. It's paralysis. Maybe it paralyzes everything in the room as well. I don't know. Fanny pack filled with goodies. I have no idea what that did. And is this... That's a battery consumable, not a battery... Um, not the item, the battery. So we will give money to the donation machine, but we'll wait till the last floor on the... Or the last uh, shop. Just so we know we're not wasting any of our money. I'm a little bit low on HP, but uh, I should be... Su oh, the flies no longer attack like turrets and stuff like that. We should be in a pretty darn good position. Bad gas. Really? Alright, well. I'm not even going to take the paralysis pill because I don't trust myself to use it properly. Alrighty then. We've unlocked a lot of stuff on this first run. I'm oh, almost walked right into those. I'm very happy about it. All we gotta do is beat mom, and I'm pretty sure that'll go down as a win. Flies no longer hit the turrets. So satisfying. Down to the next floor, possibly the last floor over the course of this run. I don't know the unlock conditions yet because, uh, again, I haven't played very much. Depths 2. Let's do this. I am ready. Our tears seem to do so much damage. I wonder if Sin... Oh, what did I take damage there? I wonder if Sin, by the way... Oh, I walked over Creep like an idiot. Okay. I wonder if Sin, by the way, is something that increases your chances of getting deals with the devil or deals with the devil item in some other capacity. This room is hard for me to follow just because it's so big, but, like, Brimstone has pretty much unlimited range, so... I think we're doing the right thing here just by staying away. What? That champion is crazy strong. So I still don't know what Fanny Pack does. It's really hard to aim Brimstone Baby or Little Brimstone. Which I think is smart. That's Charm of the Vampire, I think. Kills heal. Not the greatest item. But, uh, you know, might might save us in a pinch here. Maybe it works differently than it does in vanilla. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm glad that Little Brimstone is not basically just an automatic Brimstone shot, because I think that would make things far, far too easy. It's actually a lot harder to aim because the the infant has like a, you know, its own weird little kind of tracking going on here. It's doing a pretty darn good job, though. Brimstone turrets? I'm an idiot. I really thought that would be... I got a little too uh, brazen with my lack of dodging there. Um, I forgot what I was going to say, actually. So now I, I'm actually finding myself in a position... Where I maybe picked up an item that I'm, I'm actually kind of sad that it's good because it's effed up my strategy. Like, I'm, I'm trying to aim the brimstone shot instead of trying to aim uh, my actual tears. And I don't think that's working out for me. I think I should be trying to aim my tears and then just using brimstone whenever it charges up. Which is actually, like, really frequently. That was a good one. Oh, stay away from me, you jerk. Uh, I guess I should have taken some of the money here. That's okay. There was a boss trap room, so if we find a blood bank, we can do our unique strats again. Not unique, I guess, but these are the fires that shoot at me. I don't like them very much. I'm starting to get a little anxious. See, I'm, I'm playing as if I have brimstone. This is going to be something that's hard to get used to. I keep charging up my shots when all I really need to do is just a... Ooh, what is this? It takes two keys to get into this room. It had two locks on it. We got one pill, which is fine because we have PhD. Um, sure, we got our keys back, and then some. We got a bad gas pill. All right, so two keys to get three treasure chests. That's kind of an interesting payout. I wonder if they can sometimes be special treasure chests. Weird floating Zambros. I don't like this very much. Uh, yeah, I wonder if they can sometimes uh, be like golden chests or red chests. That would, I mean, it already seems like a pretty okay deal, but that would definitely tip it even more. In our favor. What is this? this? Is some like we're Delver's drop right now? Nothing wrong with that. I'm glad we have Brimstone. Actually, I'm going to play this room as if we do only have Brimstone. 
Uh, why do these enemies appear to be respawning? You know what I mean? Maybe they aren't, and I'm just an idiot. Thank God we, we don't have to deal with whatever kind of shenanigans the room wanted us to deal with. Instead, we can just kill them uh, with brimstone. And our shop contains another item. I don't even know. Is that like a... It's like a bead or something? Converter. Convert your soul. This converts spirit hearts and black hearts into red heart containers? Oh, it takes two of them. Very interesting. Maybe not the best play for me right now. Uh, we'll give the rest of our money that we have uh, here. Maybe not the best item for us right now, but interesting nonetheless. So we'll keep donating. The reason you donate, by the way, is because it gives you access to uh, better shop items the longer, the more you donate, like, not just over the course of one run, but over the course of your entire save file. So I think it keeps track of the total amount of money you've donated and some, uh, I guess I'll pick these up and donate. Um, some of the best shop items in the game, I believe, are gated to certain donation thresholds. I think. So we gotta fight Mom. I worry that maybe the Mom fight is a little bit different or something like that, and uh, I'm gonna find myself out of my element. Uh, I don't know why I keep picking this up, but I did just donate some more. We might as well shoot the fire. That's okay. Um... Have we explored all the rooms? Oh, we have not. There's another room down there, so I might as well go through with it. What an interesting first run. It should go without saying. Uh, you know what? Maybe it shouldn't go without saying, but it can go without saying now, even though I'm going to say it. Um, new enemy here. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with Rebirth on this run. I haven't really been talking about it. That's how you know it's a good sign. So I don't think... Because uh, I'm having so much fun, I, I just playing the game. Um, I could go to the curse room, but you know what? Let's just play it safe on this run. I'm gonna give the last of our money here to uh, the donation machine, and then we're gonna fight Mom, and that could that could actually be the end of this run. I, Yeah, we can't use it with only one spirit heart. If we, if we got some extra money, maybe we could, but um, that's weird. The donation machine jammed. Okay. I get it. Stops you from having like a dollar and then just donating 99 cents and uh, unlocking every item just thanks to one lucky run. Let's do this. Okie dokie. So far, so same. Which is fine. Make sure. Oh. Bad on my part. Make sure I'm uh, actually shooting tears, not just the brimstone shot, because the tears do a lot of damage. Maybe even more than little brimstone. I think we're going to win here. Oh. Yeah, make sure to get out of the way of that. And I'm stoked because I think we're gonna win. Not quite like a the same thrill of like a chest victory, but hey, it's a good start. Where's the bodily segments? Thank you. His mother, fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else. Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. Oh yeah! So we did it. I don't really want to skip through the credits. Maybe we'll watch the credits and we'll just say, uh, hey, thanks for watching uh, the first episode of Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It, hey, the spider. And everybody else, of course, who worked on the game. But uh, it's been it's been a pleasure to play it. It's been a pleasure to uh, to wait for it. And it's, it's a pleasure to finally be able to dive in. If you enjoyed the episode, this is episode one of a hopefully exceptionally long running series. Click the like button. It helps out an enormous deal. I, I can't thank you enough if you appreciated the video. Uh, we unlocked the womb. Sweet. Oh, the purest as well. And of course, if you're watching episode one, maybe you're a new viewer. You don't know who I am. I play a lot of Binding of Isaac. Subscribe. You'll see a new episode or maybe multiple new episodes of this every single day. For now, though, thanks for watching. The wait is finally over. And I'll see you next time.